Hi guys, this is Mike. In this video, I'm going to talk about Cinema 4D Release 20 fields. Now, fields are a way to layer your falloffs within MoGraph. And I always had a little bit of trouble when started using uh, MoGraph and, and adding in falloffs. It just felt a little limited. And, and in this upgrade, where they put in fields, you're able to layer these falloffs to more dramatic and you make get some really interesting results. So I have this little tiny scene to just explain this quick overview of fields. Now I have a, just a MoGraph grid set up and I have a, a shader on here. Now if you go to your cloner. You can see I have my effector added in and I just have some just basic cylinders and if I go to my object you can see I just have just a, a few uh, clones for each one for each row. Let me just kind of spread this out a little bit. Now in the shader effector you can come down over here where it says fall off and you have this a little bit different now than what we had from before. We have um, and the, uh, the ability, if you click on this, this box here, you can see that we have all our normal shapes that we can use for a fall off. Now I put in a, a spherical field and you can see that here and it's added in underneath your shader. And what you can see here is you have a few different blending field and remapping. You can see the shape where you can adjust the strength and you can adjust this um, in this offset as well. So you have some ability to not only add, uh, adjust your fall off in a little bit more, um, a little bit more hands-on way, but you can also layer. You can you can add in more, uh, uh, excuse me, more fields for your fall off if you want to. So going back to this spherical field, you can see how we can move our our field around our object to adjust the shader effector. But you can also, if you go to, you notice if you go to my cloner, we have this just white color that's added into just generic onto our, our clones. But you can also go to your spherical and, excuse me, actually go to the shader and we'll go to its parameters. You can see down here where we have color, we can use the fields color. So if I go back to my spherical fields and we can go to color remap, you can see now we can change the color of our, our clones as well. And of course we can adjust that, that fall off. And you'll also notice that we can add in gradients as well. So it's, it's really a way, a more powerful way of handling fall off within MoGraph by adding in all these various layers. And if I go back to my, my shader and my fall off, you can see how we can just start blending these together. And you can kind of re uh, change the, almost like an opacity for, for these fields and you can keep adding them in for the effect that you want. So it's, it's, I think it's a very powerful new improvement to MoGraph, and especially as we get in here and start developing some really interesting effects. I mean, this is a very basic scene, but you can control the direction, you control the color, uh, just through the, the fields fall off, and you can also use splines. So I'm looking forward to making a tutorial and getting into this 
you know, a lot more in detail. I just wanted to give you an overview of what Fields is and its power. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.